What is going on, everybody? And welcome to another Beta Memoirs. And <laughs> the numbers are in. You have Apple reporting uh, earnings of 1.24. Consensus was 124. And also, um, they've missed on sales, which is the first time in uh, quite a few years. Actually, I believe back in uh, 2018 was the first time uh, since the last time they missed sales. And the CEO, CEO also uh, came out and said there was a lot, essentially all the products are affected uh, by supply constraints. With that being said, you also have Amazon reporting of a 6.12. Consensus was 9.10. So uh, the numbers, yes, supply constraints are bad. Uh, it's an obvious, it's blatant. People know that was going to happen. Uh, it's still not going to stop the selling. Being said, Amazon is still making a billion dollars, over a billion dollars this quarter, uh, which is absolutely absurd. Uh, so being said, we have to see market digestion of what's going on. Uh, Tesla, it bounced back and forth. Not to say that these companies are going against Tesla. Tesla uh, did do uh, very well. Google had the same issue as well, uh, right? So being said, I think what we're going to see is digestion overnight. Uh, I don't really see these gapping down any more than they already have. They've already made a, a huge move to the downside. Uh, with that being said, I think they're going to run tomorrow. Uh, I don't think that at all this is going to stop. Uh, yes, Apple gapped up going into today. I think I just uh, sat flush. Let's uh, check out Amazon. And Amazon ran this morning and then completely dropped after that, and then completely dropped after uh, just before the close of the day. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see. There's still a lot that is very promising. Yes, we all know there's supply constraints and everything. Um, again, ports have been open 24-7. Uh, I think it was just about two weeks ago they started doing that. Maybe it was just a week ago. So being said, I, I don't think – I think we're trying to alleviate some of the stress – on as far as these different things. And yes, there's inflation because of supply constraints right now, uh, but I don't really see that uh, going forward. I think we're, we're slowly transitioning. Yes, uh, the administration is seems to be very slow on this behalf as far as supply, the supply side of things and opening those ports so late. Uh, maybe there was a reason behind that. Maybe there wasn't, I don't know. Uh, but being said, uh, the market is aware of these things, so this isn't anything new. Yes, they're still making a ridiculous amount of, of revenue, these companies, even with the, the pandemic and all the supply constraints. Um, these things are ripping back, and so we're just seeing these crazy dips. Uh, we go back to even Tesla, right? Well, their earnings... With their earnings is they dipped, they kind of held flat overnight, but then they popped, and that's when they really started running. Even if you look at Google, uh, same thing, it dipped pretty hard, and then it just ripped the next day. So that's what, what's what I'm expecting out of Apple and uh, Amazon tomorrow. I don't expect them uh, to be held down. I know last earnings, uh, Amazon, um, Amazon did take a little bit more of a hit last time, and it stayed down for a while. Uh, but this time, I think, um, you know, people are starting to digest the supply issues a little bit more, understand that. And yes, it is a business and whatnot, but I mean, they're still taking, raking in a lot. They may not be hitting exact expectations. That's what I think ultimately they're looking for is those expectations and are they going to make it or not? Uh, but being said, it really depends on the forward guidance and, and how the mar market digests that. And that's what we have to wait for overnight and see if, uh, the market believes it to be true or not. Uh, Facebook had its uh, virtual thing, ta talking about the metaverse today, doing the renaming to meta, which will uh, take place on December 1st. Uh, so that being said, it had a nice a little pop leading into that, but then everything kind of pulled back towards that last uh, uh, power hour, uh, again, because of anticipation. Now, for the most part, Apple held its own, essentially all the way until 4.30 when uh, numbers were released. Uh, Microsoft still holding one to watch tomorrow. Tesla still holding, uh, right? So uh, that's one thing to keep in mind. If Apple and Google and um, Amazon do not move tomorrow, as long as they they stay put, that money will be soaked into 
your Teslas and your Microsoft that is still holding. Uh, and some of these other stocks, I think, uh, Facebook could start making a comeback. I think Snap started pulling, uh, pushing again today. Uh, I really think it's it's only going to be temporary. I think tomorrow, again, you're going to see Amazon, you're going to see Apple uh, bounce back quickly tomorrow, uh, especially these mad selling. When you get these massive moves down like this, normally it will bounce back fast uh, and then hit a top. And if it decides to sell, I mean, we're still flickering. So definitely I have to see where Apple is in the morning as, again, with uh, Amazon. Uh, but as far as like everything else, um, it is Friday tomorrow. Uh, also for uh, DWAC, for those people uh, who don't know, Trump is speaking tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this thing might actually take off uh, in the morning or tonight and into the morning and start gapping, maybe even try to test uh, those, those previous highs. So that's something I'm watching tomorrow. Um, but it's mainly just and a shop also had a massive run either. This, it has shop had earnings this morning as well. Again, sold off and then which is funny because uh, it did a lot more poorly than <laughs> Amazon did. And yet it had this massive rip today as one of the bigger uh, rippers today. Uh, so it's something to keep in mind. Yes, it's down, but uh, I think these, these will make quick recoveries and start pushing up uh, quickly. So that's just something to keep in mind. And next week we do have, one thing to keep in mind is next week we do have uh, Powell next week. I believe that's on Tuesday. Um, and so with that coming, um, I could see us possibly, if we start ripping tomorrow, we could probably possibly rip all day into Monday and then possibly start selling in anticipation for Powell on Tuesday. Uh, I have to get exact dates on that. I'll have that on the weekly update when I do do that, um, when he's supposed to come. But uh, so we got that next week. Uh, yes, and talk about tapering. We all know what's coming. Uh, Canada actually just announced yesterday that they are stopping the bond purchases. They're not raising rates, but they're stopping the bond purchases yesterday uh, out of the blue. So being said, we should expect that considering that we're neighbors and normally um, those those kind of actions that are taking are, are very similar. So when it comes to that kind of stuff as far as tapering and, and bond buying. So I expect that to be announced uh, next week. Uh, if not over the weekend, it might be something over the weekend. I, I don't think it's um, any kind of move that would be essentially uh, call to be brought out over the weekend. But ultimately, I think next week, uh, that was something that's going to be announced. Um, so it could shock the market. We have to see how the market uh, takes that as well. Uh, again, Tesla still holding. Uh, but ultimately, uh, again, understand uh, tomorrow, I uh, have to see how overnight is. Pre-market, if you don't follow me at Beta Memoirs on Twitter, on there, I am. Uh, I give a morning brief on what I see in the market, what I'm looking at in the markets. Uh, again, you can follow me there uh, to uh, see what my opinion is on the market. The biggest thing to understand, too, is, is if you are a trader, an investor, you need to be on Twitter. <laughs> because that is your one of your greatest assets. Um, YouTube is great and whatever, charts are great and whatever, but your latest information is always gonna be on, on Twitter. Uh, your best research device is Twitter. Uh, for stocks, you get all the latest news and what's really going on, as opposed to waiting for news. Um, if you're watching it on TV or on YouTube or getting someone else's opinion about it, you can get the information directly on Twitter. Yes, there's a lot of opinions on there too, but uh, you can get um, a lot of good information that uh, does play out. Right? There's a lot of good gold nuggets out there. So if, if you are a trader, it's good to always have a Twitter account uh, to help you with that. Uh, but I know this video is short, and I'm, I'm kind of just carrying on. Again, I'm watching Fang tomorrow and, and seeing how the digestion is. Again, everything is, is doing these wicks, even uh, the spy is wicking back up and getting ready to push. We're, we're flirting with all-time highs again. Uh, I think we're just going to gap and start going tomorrow. I don't think this is going to stop us. Um, again, everybody is aware of the things, that, uh, aware of uh, supply issues and everything, and that they're trying to alleviate that now. Uh, so we'll have to see, again, how they digest the uh, outlook on everything. So if you've made it this far, remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys on the field. Later.